Back in the days of vaudeville and silent movies, Boonton hosted various professional productions in both theater and film. The theaters of Boonton's Main Street welcomed numerous big names such as Laurel and Hardy, Burns and Allen, Will Rogers, Sarah Bernhardt, and many more. It began in November 1890 when the Boonton Opera House was opened on Main Street with a performance by the Boonton Coronet Band and the dramatic presentation of Past Redemption. Seven years later, George Harris opened a separate theater on the corner of Main and School Street named the Harris Lyceum Theater. It was at the Harris Lyceum Theater that George Burns and Gracie Allen performed for the very first time in the early 1900s. After the Harris Lyceum was built and opened in 1897, the Opera House was rented for dances, meetings, and graduations before converting to the Bijou Movie Theater in 1910. By 1930, the Bijou had two movie projectors to eliminate the wait for rewinding. The Darris Theater, named after the builder Charles Darris, was opened June 30, 1921 with the film Lying Lips. Major alterations were made to the theater in 1927 and the name was changed to the State Theater. The first film shown in the State Theater was The Yankee Clipper. Although the State Theater changed owners many times, it is the only theater still in Boonton and is once again called the Darris. Offering live theater, varied music performances, stand-up comedy and cult film, while also renting the facility for community group functions, present owner Tom Timbrook has staunchly maintained continued productions for the past 35 years. In more recent years, Boonton has again become a venue for movie making, TV advertising, and episodes of the popular Sopranos TV series. <laughs> 